so this is the video i promised guys as you can see like i was going out but i already promised someone i was going to make this video so that's why i'm trying to do it before i forget again honestly i've not really been active on my youtube anymore because i feel like you people don't watch the videos i put there you people just come there to find a way to assess me and come to my dms and honestly i'm not very very happy about that so this is the video i was talking about that i was going to do if you are a nurse and you have a bachelor's degree in nigeria then you are able to migrate to saudi arabia and i'll explain to you the same way we have the public and private sector in nigeria they have the public and private sector in saudi arabia but most times one of these private sectors they recruit for public sectors which means they bring nurses from nigeria or other countries to come and work for private hospitals and sometimes they allow those nurses to also work in their government hospitals so the difference between the private and the public sector is that the public sector which is the ministry of health the uh, ministry of guard i think there is one more they take bachelors only like they only take nurses with bachelor's degree so if you don't have a bachelor's degree you may still be able to apply to some private hospitals although there's been some rumors that private hospitals too are no longer taking people with diploma but you can just try i'm not someone that believes in when people say no or it's not possible i don't believe in impossibility when someone says something is not possible try i've still seen a few nurses that have migrated this year as rns to saudi arabia and i told you people that saudi arabia does not do direct hire like you cannot just apply boom and go like it's not like the uk where you can do your visa and everything for yourself you need an agent and when i say you need an agent you need an agent either for job application or for processing of your visa i told some nurses last year that you could apply to hospitals directly on linkedin you can check linkedin for their website you can check google for website of hospitals some of these hospitals recruit yes they do and i think there is this guy that has gone about two people have gone through that route like they applied on linkedin they got a job and they used an agency to process their visa and everything but one problem i have with people is most of the people that have gone through this pathway they are not willing to share how they went through the pathway i've even reached out to a few people that oh how did you do this how did you do this but they are not willing to share and i don't blame anybody for that if they want to get skipped because i know that we, sometimes we can ruin certain things for people and maybe they don't want things like that to happen so that is the first step you decide on where you want to go on if you want to go to saudi arabia then you find an agency you, we have a telegram group where we put a list of agencies if you send a message to me i'll just send you the link to that telegram room. we have two telegram groups one is chatty you can chat on one on the other one you cannot chat i'm the only one that can post messages on it and that is because lately there have been a lot of spam on the chatty group and i've told people please i do not know anybody from adam on that group i don't know anybody I, the only person i've recommended was dr Akin that did my own personal data flow and that is the only person I've ever recommended to people. And I've been seeing a lot of messages on the group of people saying, oh, I do data flow, blah, blah, blah. And people have been paying to them. Please don't pay to anybody. Data flow is even something you can do for yourself. But me, I'm just a very lazy person. And I wanted some. I didn't want to just be doing trial and error. I wanted someone that is well experienced to just do it for me and get it done with. That is that. So you apply to an agency. They tell you when the interview is. You do the interview. And if everything goes well, you're on your way to Saudi Arabia in about three to four months or six months maximum if you don't have any issues. So that is that about migrating to Saudi Arabia. And for the questions you people have been asking me, some people say, okay, I think I'll put this in the next part video because it's already forming. And I know you people are not going to watch this video to the end. And if you come to ask me any questions that is in this video, I am not going to respond to you. Bye.